All right, I might not be on. We might have to not talk to you all today. So sorry, I'm not gonna be able to answer questions. Um, I am just doing a quick and easy um, glitter fade. I'm using Mood Polish. It's from La Chat. I have it on my website. Um, Heavenly Angel, which is a lovely color. Let's see if I can get it. You can see that she's quite warm, so it starts changing pretty much as soon as I put it on her. Um, I really like these Mood Polishes from La Chat. They are a little bit thicker in viscosity, which is great. Um, as far as I feel like they're not too thin, some gel polishes that I'll go to kind of try and mess with because I try to mess with as much as I can get my hands on really thin and not very good coverage and you can see that this is almost full coverage with one coat um I always do two just because wear and tear they have all my clients go a month pretty much so two coats I feel like it's always better it gives you a little bit more product um but as you can see one coat has terrific coverage so again, this is Heavenly Angel from La Chat. Um, I'm also wearing Mood Polish. I have on Wicked Love, which goes pink to blue, kind of has purple in the middle. And I'm just using an ombre brush. I have a couple different brands on my website. There's some that are crystally, and the one from Profiles is purple. Um, but just, just a quick blend. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm just gonna go over this with glitter. All this is getting covered up by glitter. So you don't have to worry about it being super perfect. Oh, I saw a heart. I can't see messages, but I can see hearts, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so go ahead and put that in. So again, really quick, when this cures, it cures to almost white. So she had been saying, maybe we could do the glitter with white or maybe like a pink. And I'm like, well, why choose? Mm. So this lets you kind of have a little bit of both. Sometimes they'll be white. Sometimes they'll just have a little bit of pink on the tip. Makes it really fun. Oh, more hearts. Hello, my friends. I know I don't get on here quite as much as I should. But I wanted to show you this um, glitter that I discovered from I, pour, I pulled a little bit out when I did her fill which is gonna smooth out when I finish um anyway I pulled this out of the perfect match collection I carry the whole line of the La Chat perfect match collection so if you do regular polish and gel polish and say you have a client that doesn't like gel on their toes for whatever reason the perfect match lets you have a it comes in a box with both so you have both the color the color version and the um the polish version with the mood polish you can buy them separate so you can buy it as a color or as a uh, a polish um but with all of the other colors you get both you get the polish and you get the gel polish so for anyone that still uses regular polish that's great I don't really use a lot of regular polish, so for me, sometimes I'll use it for stamping because it actually is pretty pigmented stuff, or I will give it to people. Um, I let my daughter give away some of the ones that I had used, um, some of the polish versions of gel polish that I had grabbed out to use, and uh, she gave it to friends on her birthday as like a little goodie bag thing, so that was fun. Isn't this crazy how fast it disappears? We have a one that's really, really, really good for fall. And the, the name is, I can't think of it, so you'll have to look on the website and try to find it if you want it. Um, but I did it last year, and it was such a fun fall color because it's orange when it is uh, warm, but it's brown when it's cold. So, you know, you put it on, and then your clients cure their nails, and they're all orange, and then you're painting brown over the top of the orange, and you're like, I'm messing up her color. And then it suddenly disappears, and you're back to orange. So it's pretty cool. Um, it turns out to be a really nice ombre for uh, winter. If it's not in my fall favorites collection, I should make sure I go in there and, and do it, um, because it is a very awesome color. So again, don't have to make this ombre perfect. We're just trying to make it disappear. That was Heavenly Angel. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Perfect Match. This is called Hologram Diamond. So again, this comes in a box uh, like this with both. So there's my polish version and this is the gel polish version. 
And I'm just going to take this gorgeous, super holographic gel polish, and I'm gonna dab it on just right in the middle, right where I'm gonna be doing an ombre with it. I love it. Mm hmm pretty, huh? Mm-hmm. It is definitely as holographic as holographic will get. Now it is a little bit runnier than something like gel play, for instance. So I'm actually going to, because I just blobbed a whole bunch, I'm gonna do all four, flash it for like two or three seconds, and then I'll do the thumb, just because I don't want it to move um, from gravity of her turning her hand sideways. And I'm just using an old 106 brush to grab this down. You can use your ombre brush if you want, but I tend to push and pull my glitter quite a bit to get the sizes I want, because uh, this has a couple sizes of glitter in it, which I love. It's similar in a way to the Auroras that have three sizes of glitter. I believe this looks like it has two. So you have a micro fine and ultra fine, but it makes it real easy to just push your glitter up where you want it and then pull down. So I have a whole collection of some of these perfect match gel polishes that I've grabbed that I'm gonna swatch out and start using because they have some great glitter colors, a little bit more than what I get um, with Luxio. I mean, I love Luxio and you can do a lot with it, but we don't have a lot of glitter colors. You can always add the effects on it, but let's be real, we are nail techs and we want it all. So <laughs> uh, my new favorite is that I've almost gone through, I think a whole bottle of, is this reflect, these reflective colors from um, Uber Chic. And this one is a reflective red and you can put flash gel on Saver, which is basically our brand new um, color from Accents. Saver is one of our new after show colors. It's the exact same color without sparkle. So I've had a couple people that will do that color, this reflective red from, um, from Uber Chic. They'll do that one as like an accent nail and then do the solid red on the other ones because they're afraid of glitter maybe. I don't know. Why be afraid? Don't be afraid. You're, my Christmas You're not afraid. Mm -hmm. Ooh, la la. So again, really nice, really easy. And I don't think I'm gonna have to flash it. It actually isn't moving very much. And now that I've blended it down, there's not like a big globular amount of glitter. So I'll probably just go ahead, do the thumb and then put it in. But when you glob a whole bunch on at one spot, obviously it's heavy and you're gonna have more of a chance of it shifting on you when you turn the hand sideways. So again, I kind of push up the bigger chunks and let the smaller bits fade down. That's how you get a more of an ombre effect as opposed to a straight line. And just dab some on. And push up, pull down, blur your line. But as you can see, with that pink underneath, I didn't, I didn't make a perfect ombre, but you can't see it. When you're going to be covering it with glitter, it doesn't matter. You just want to blend it so you don't end up with a straight line underneath your glitter. Because that you will see. But if it blends even a little bit, you really don't. So don't go crazy. Don't blend it forever. Just blur that line out so you're not going to see a line under your glitter. And you don't have any problem with it at all. So she's, of course, one of my clients that goes a month. Most of them do. And this will let you have grow out that is invisible because there's uh, it just is clear around the cuticle. All that's here is just clear and her own color. So that's it. Once this cures, I'm just going to cover it with Luxio gloss and finish the edges. So I just wanted to come on and show you guys this um, gorgeous new one that I discovered on the shelves. It's, I don't, I don't even think it's new. It's, um, it's not, but it was one that I didn't notice until the other day. And I picked it up and went, Oh, I need that. So lots of them to choose from, but I'll show you what I mean. You can put that in a light. I'll show you what I mean by some of these ones that have more glitter in it. This red, that go in the light. In, hand in the light. Hand. Oh. There you go. <laughs> um, so this is another one where it's a red that's got red glitter. So putting the like a top coat effects on it, the top coat effects isn't red. None of them are. So this gives you a red sparkle inside of a red polish. Um, same with a couple of these. 
I took them down and then they got a little dusty. This purple is a purple with a purple sparkle. And this is kind of a magenta color with a magenta sparkle. So some really cool ones um, ready for my close up. And this one's Night at the Cinema. Um, but I pulled a whole bunch down because I'm adding them to my collection for my lovely clients. So they get more choices. But anyway, I'm gonna do the same thing on this hand. So I'm just gonna sign off. And if you guys have any questions, I will answer them a little bit later. Just leave them in the comments. Talk to you later, bye.